You're really a man of vision. I mean, how long will it be, do you think, in Doug's best vision, to tell me that uh, I could be driving a car and say, my buddy Doug put this engine in this car that I'm driving, away from that $200,000 price tag, by the way? Well, and, well, we're putting together centers where you could put our engine in your car that you have now. Um, we are in negotiations and talks with OEMs for my engine to be used in their vehicles. So um, they don't move as fast as small business. You know, small businesses, we, we try to get things out there now, and that's why small businesses work. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm going to say if it goes the other route, let's say two years, you know, we're trying to get things geared up, but it, it takes a lot of a lot of people behind this project to get it moving. And you talk about opening eyes. Uh, places of higher learning are opening their eyes to this too. That almost to the fact that they could uh, structure curriculum to to work with you on this. I know you got a great partnership already with Northwest State Community College, and uh, that may be, branch out to other colleges around the region too. Well, it, we're working with Northwest State and uh, Tom Stuckey there, and and looking at you know, teaching the kids the technology and how this works because, I mean, we're going to have to train a lot of people just to work on the on this engine. It's, it's electronics and it's not just electrical. It has a lot of different twists on it because we're putting it all in one package. Doug, do you ever sit back and think <laughs> what's sort of the wow factor? I mean, where you were 10 years ago to, to where you are today with this? Yeah, I do, but I, I think Gee, I got a lot to go through yet. So I, I, I just look at it and say, well, I, I did a milestone. Let's go on to the next milestone here. You know, I, I try to push forwards because obviously you can get lost in where you've been and just think that's successful. But I think the true thing is moving it forward. I want to see it driving down the road. What an incredible journey thus far. Yeah, it's been, and everybody says it's fast, and I, I usually say I'm in the middle of it saying, man, it's been pretty slow. i got to be excited to have such a venture right here in your own community. Oh, I think this is fantastic. Uh, I think Doug's attitude about this whole thing is great. Uh, what he is doing for the American public and especially what he is uh, doing uh, to the local economy here is going to be a great boost for us. And you know there's great interest. Back in uh, June of last year, a lot of folks showed up to find out more about this great project. Right, and it was a lousy day, but we still had a really good turnout. And what you said about uh, really uh, echoing out from Wauseon to America, and uh, we want to get that out and heard and let them know that here in Northwest Ohio, some great conceptual ideas that are hopefully going to help everybody in this country. Oh, it is. Uh, it's just a fantastic uh, idea. I met Doug, I think it's just about a year ago. I believe it was uh, last Good Friday. Uh, I came out to uh, Doug's uh, shop in Napoleon. We talked a little bit, and uh, I've been in on several of the meetings that he's had with uh, different groups of people since then. You firsthand know the spirit of the small business and, and truly is the heartbeat of America. You as a small business owner, and uh, you know the importance of that here in America. Right. Small business has uh, driven America since its inception. Um, we, we do need the larger businesses, but it still boils down to the small businesses that come up with, come up with the innovative ideas and are actually to follow, able to follow through with it. And, that, you know, I've had to tell you that. Personally, I feel it's the true spirit of America. Oh, it is, yes. Uh, I think anyone that has uh, lived outside a city, a large city, really understands what a small business uh, does for the whole economy. You know, the bigger ones may get the headlines all the time, but they, I think people would be surprised how many feeder businesses there are into those bigger corporations, too, around here, for example. Right, and we are, in this area, we are driven by the automotive industry. And I think this really plays into what Doug is doing right now. We've got a lot of businesses that, uh, with a little bit of retooling, would be able to work with Doug and, I'm sure, uh, help make a, a positive impact on, uh, on uh, what he's doing here. I'm going to guess that Wauseon will welcome even more of those businesses if they want to locate here. Oh, that's right. Uh, and with, uh, well, gee, I, I guess I shouldn't say that the fuel prices are continually going up because uh, once Doug's uh, in, uh, in production here, uh, fuel prices should go down. But I know that's always uh, a big issue on the proximity of your suppliers to where your, your plant is. He gets that done in the near future. It'd probably be Grand Marshal of Parade here in town, wouldn't he? I think we can work that out. Could put Wauseon on the map even in a bigger sense, right? Oh, absolutely.